In this video, I'll show you some tips and tricks or hidden tools within LASX Navigator. So you should all be familiar by now with the live button and the spiral button. And for most people, this is probably enough to get you started. However, there are a couple of advanced features hidden in right clicking of these two buttons. First is this Run Smart Spiral. So Run Smart Spiral will take a spiral until it hits an empty spot and then return to an area that actually has sample in it for cells. So now it's thinking. See, it skipped this area here. So you can see that it does take longer than the regular spiral, but if you have something that is very irregularly shaped, it could be quite useful and save you some time from acquiring areas of blank space. Another tool that's useful is run find object outline scan. This will look for the boundaries. Again, this is really good for objects that are irregularly shaped. Or maybe you want to do the preview in a high mag and you don't want to fill in the entire area. Okay. And one of the most useful tools that I like is Run Live Trace. So Run Live Trace will basically allow you to take an image as you're moving and it is only limited by the speed of your camera. So if you want this to move faster, you can decrease your camera exposure and that way you can move faster around the stage. So those are the couple of tips and tricks in these two buttons. The other options that are hidden are right clicks when you're in the navigator window. There's move to stage position. So these quick navigation buttons here, move to stage position, move to carrier position are also here. So if you don't want to move your mouse all the way up, you can just right click and do that. The other options are we can load experiments. So we, can, we always have the option of saving any experiment that we create in Navigator and then loading it every time we come in. So this, will, this could save you a lot of time if you're always setting up the same experiments. And finally, we have select regions color. So if for some reason, let's say you can't see this white square, we can right click and change that to yellow. And now maybe you can see it better. This is useful, for instance, if you're doing bright field imaging and the default is always a white square and you can't necessarily see the region very well. So that's a good way to change the region. 